Yeah, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to uh, study how to divide in other bases. So let's start with base 3. And then after teaching this, if I feel that you don't understand what I'm saying, we are going to continue to base 4 or base 5 for another base, okay? So let's start with base 3. They all follow the same process. Okay, so when you have this, when you have anything you want to divide that is not in base 10, that means you need to form times table for that particular base you are working with. For example, we are working with base 3, 12 in base 3. That means we need to uh, form a timetable of 12 in base 3. Okay, let's see how I'm going to do it. But before you do that, first of all, this is base 3. What are the numbers you are allowed to have in base 3? Once you have a number in base 3, the only figures you are allowed to have there is 0, 1, and 2. 0, 1, and 2. Okay? You don't need anything from 3 up. It's not supposed to be in your answer. Do you understand? So it means you are going to form times table for that 0, 1, and 2. But I won't form times. I can't say 12 times 0. It's going to give me 0 now. Anything times 0 is 0. So it's basically, I'm going to form times table for this 1, 2 in base 3. For just 1 and 2. Okay? Now, how do I go about it? I'll first of all say 1, 2 in base 3 times 1. We are going to still have the same 1, 2 in base 3. Is okay because this is one, this is two. We are allowed to have one and two in base three. But as mean that whatever I got here is more than two. Once I have from three upwards, mm -mm, I must do something to it to ensure that the number reduces to either zero, one, or two. See what I mean? You are going to see it here. So 12 in one, two in base three times two. Now you are going to have one, two times two. 2 times 2 is 4. You see, we are not supposed to have 4 in our results. Anything we are doing in this base 3, mm -mm. from 3 upwards, we are not supposed to have it. Now, 4 is here. What do we do to it? So, what you are going to do is simple. Once you encounter something like that, that 4 you got, divide it by 3. Remember, you are working with base 3. Okay? You divide it by 3. So, 3 divide this 4. What are you going to have? You are going to have 1 remainder 1. 1 remainder 1. So all you need to do is to write this remainder. You write your remainder. You carry this whole number. Just hold it. Don't use it for now. Hold it. Now you say 2 times 1 will give us 2. Plus that 1 that is remaining. You understand? 2 times 1 is 2. Plus that 1 that is remaining. It's going to give you 3. You see, we are not supposed to have 3. We are just supposed to have 0, 1, or 2. So whatever we are doing, 3 is not supposed to be there. Okay? So what do we do? We are going to divide this 3 by 3 again. We divide it by 3. Okay? So we are going to do 3 by 3. We are going to have 1 remainder 0. Right? So when 3 divide 3, we are going to have 1 remainder 0. So we are going to have that 0 first before we write our 1. And I wrote this 1 and 0 because I'm true with my multiplication. Not only that I'm true with my multiplication, 1 is allowed in this result and 0 is allowed. So you notice that 1, 2, 3 times 2 in base 3 is going to give you 101 in base 3. It looks somehow right. <laughs> yes, I know, but that is it. That is it. So we are through because this is all I need. I need one, I need two. That is all I need. This zero does not, I don't really, okay? So we have formed our times table. What do we do now? We are going to solve this using what? Long division. So using long division, remember what we got? Let's write it somewhere. We got that 12 times one gave us 12. 12 times two gave us 101, okay? Let me clean here because I need it. So I'm going to do my long division now. We have 2102 in base 3 must, uh, being divided by 1, 2 in base 3. Okay, let's start our division. 1, 2 divides 2. You know it's not possible, it's 0, right? So we are leaving it. Let's shift to the next figure. 12, 1, 2 divides 2, 1. If 1, 2 should divide 2, 1, what are you going to have? If you look at this, notice that... That 2, 1 is not even here. And the next number that is times 2 is 2 is far away more than it. So that means that it's going to be here. It's going to be times 1. So we have 1 here. I don't know if you understand. We suppose, as mean there is a 2, 1 here, let's assume you have times 2. As mean that when we did 12 times 2 or 1, 2 times 2, that we got 2, 1. And hey, we would have written 2 here. 
But for the fact that that one is not there, and the next one is above it, we are going to take the first one, which is what? Times one. Just like in your normal division. Okay? Now, one times one, two is going to give us one, two. We subtract. We now subtract. We subtract. Remember, you are subtracting in base three. You are subtracting in base three. So what do you do? One minus two is not possible. So you are going to borrow one from these two and add it to this one. But in this case, that one you borrowed is not just one. It's a bundle of, one bundle of three. See what you borrowed? One, two, three. But they are in bundle like this. Okay, so you borrowed a bundle of three because this is base three. You borrowed a bundle of three from these two and you added it to this one. So when you borrow a bundle of three and add to this one, it becomes what? Four, right? So what we have here now is four. Four minus two will give us two. Okay, four minus two will give us two. So you are left with one. One minus one is zero. So we don't have any issue here again. So that's one aside. What do we do next? We bring down the next figure. That is how you do it. Once you divide, after dividing and you subtract, you bring down the next figure. So we brought down zero. So we have two zero here. 12 divide two zero. Notice that we don't have it here. What we have is one over one. That means it's still times one. It means that when 12 divide this two zero, it is one one remainder something. Okay? One one remainder something. So just like normal base 10 division we are going to write one one times one two is still giving us one two we subtract remember you are subtracting in base three now zero minus two is not possible we borrow one from these two but that one we borrowed is a bundle of three so that three we have here now minus two is going to give us one we have one remaining here one minus one is what zero One minus one is what? Zero. So what do we do? Once we subtract, we are finished with our subtraction, we will bring down the next value, which is two. So we now have one, two, and one, two. Okay? One, two, divide one, two. You are still going to have another one. One times one, two, you have one, two. When you subtract, you are going to have zero. If you followed me to this stage, it means that you enjoy what I'm doing. Please click on that subscription button so subscribe and also click on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video so that you continue to have access to my new videos, okay? All right, so this is what we got. Once you get your zero, it means that you have gotten to your results. Therefore, therefore, 2102 in base 3 divided by 12 in base 3 is equal to what? 111 in base 3. Let me know if you actually got this in the comment section. If you got it, that you understood it, let me know. But if you did not understand it, let me know. So that I'll know if I'm going to make more videos based on this division in different bases. Do have a lovely day. Bye-bye.